Hey guys, I just wanted to show you uh, briefly the way that I got better at daggers and maybe it's something that'll help you as well. Um, daggers is basically just a version of a game called 2048 and um, I had never heard of it before it came on Game of Sultans. Um, a few people were saying it's just a version of a game called 2048, so what I did was I went to the Play Store and picked one of maybe about a million or so versions of that game and installed it and practiced on it. Um, so I think that's the best way to get better at daggers is to do it where you don't have to worry about how many moves you have at first, things like that. and. Um, so that's how I got better at it. So just to show you 2048, this is just a basic version of it. And the idea is that, especially in the beginning, you want to focus on putting your biggest value all in one corner and keeping it there. And you could pick any of the four corners I think it's most kind of instinctive to use the bottom right corner. Um, and maybe that's just me. Uh, for you, it might be bottom left corner, maybe even one of the top ones, but that's how I do it, uh, is the bottom right corner. And to start by moving the tiles down as often as you can until you can't anymore, and then to move them left and then move them down again, but always going down into, I'm sorry, down into the right, not down into the left. So I start off with two tiles, just like you would start off with two daggers. And the difference between 2048 and daggers is that you have a value instead of a picture of daggers, and it goes up exponentially. So level nine daggers in this case would be equivalent to reaching 2048. So I've got two twos on the board. I have to swipe right to match them up. So they've doubled. Now I can go down. I can do it again and again and again and again and again. And now I can't go down anymore, but I can go to the right. And you can see that just kind of happened automatically that I get much better values the 8 and the 8, I can go ahead and make those into 16 if I want to, or I can continue on going down. So that's what I'll do. Now I have to go right, go down again as much as I can, and then go right, go down again as much as I can, and then go right, down again and then right down. You can see sometimes you can go for longer and then right. And if you just sort of progressively do that, always going down into the right, you notice that you get kind of a staircase of twos on the fours, on the eights, on the sixteens, on the thirty twos which would then be on the 64s and so forth. But the idea is that your biggest values are always on that inner corner. And the numbers that progressively get bigger, you're always able to move them towards the bigger number. So you never end up with, for instance, a two where that 64 is, because then it's useless to you. You can't reach it. You can't make it a bigger number and you end up with kind of a gapped up board. But that's the idea, is that you go down and to the right as much as you can. Occasionally, you get to this point, which is, I can't go down, I can't go to the right, so I have to go left. But I do that, and then I carry on, just like I was before. And this is the way that I initially got better and now I don't play exactly like this anymore, but it's a good sort of way to start. You're always kind of thinking about 
how do I build up these these outer numbers to get them toward that interior number but you're not really having to think about the whole board and it makes it a little bit more simple like that so anyway uh, I hope this helps so go get a version of 2048 there's one called cupcakes which is it's kind of cute but it's to me not as user user friendly because you don't have numbers on the cupcakes you can't tell, you know, of course, you know, I'm derpy, so I would tort, sort of favor the one that reminds me most of donuts, but uh, <laughs> it's not very user-friendly because you have to kind of remember the values of the cupcakes, so it's not as helpful, I think. So, anyway, I hope this helps you out.